It's actually taken me a long time to be able to say cancer or even call it cancer because that's such a powerful word. And, and uh, um, I know when she said it on the phone, it was just, it was extremely overwhelming. Uh, uh, a lot of things go through your head. I mean, obviously, y you think that your life is coming to an end. I exercise a lot. Um, but over the last year, I was becoming more fatigued when I worked out. I'm 45 years old. I'm um, a very healthy, very fit, very active person. So the thought of colon cancer was something that didn't even come to my mind. I mean, thought of any type of cancer didn't come to my mind. But some of my symptoms were just fatigue and, and, and just, not, uh, just not being able to um, perform my activities. Um, at a higher level, my, my physical activities, my workout activities at the level that I typically do. I was still able to function um, through my job, through, through, through my everyday activities. Um, but when I was working out, I was, I was becoming uh, lightheaded um, and, and just more fatigued. The, the thing that kind of tipped her off was uh, we went for a bike ride and I actually beat her up a hill. Um, mm -hmm. That was kind of a pretty good indication that something was wrong because I never beat her. Fail. <laughs> correct, so. correct. Mm -hmm. So blood work was run. Um, my hemoglobin, my blood level was very low. Um, so that correlated to my fatigue and my dizziness. And then I did uh, the called blood sam samples for my stool um, just to check and see if, there, if the blood was, if I was losing blood through my stool. Um, so then I, I met with the uh, the GI doctor and then everything went quickly from there so then I ended up with my colonoscopy being done on August 2nd and that's when they found the, um, the mass. At that point uh, I, uh, we ended up scheduling for the surgery a couple weeks later. The scariest part is generally when it is found in younger people because they aren't generally set up for running the test until age 50 is what's recommended. It's generally not found until it's at a more advanced stage. So that's the problem with younger people. If they do have it, it generally isn't found until much later in the development of the cancer. All my doctors say I'm lucky. I feel blessed that um, my cancer was found quickly. The mass was removed. Um, at this point, I'm, I'm just uh, meeting with my oncologist, and, and I will have my first, my next colonoscopy um, yearly, uh, and then hopefully everything will, will go well. Uh, from my primary care physician to the care I received from Dr. Kandambi to um, Dr. Aaron with his um, the surgical group um, and then the care here at Sherman was just fantastic. I, I, I mean it couldn't have been done in a, in, a, in a more smoother fashion. They even went so far as to make sure that I was taken care of while I was trying to help take care of her mm -hmm. um, to make sure that I didn't get sick because I was worried about her. I thought that it would be fitting for me to um, somehow have a reason or some ambition to, to get back on my feet after the surgery and the procedures. So um, we went online to kind of research different uh, groups and organizations and uh, we found uh, the Colon Cancer Coalition and they actually do a race called Get Your Rear in Gear. And um, so we thought that was kind of catching and, and uh, so they, uh, their race was in October of last year. So uh, a group of my friends, um, other healthcare professionals, we decided to head to Chicago in October. So that was a couple months after my procedure. And um, we did the race. And then along the race, we were like, well, gosh, how, how can we make a difference out in our community? So now we are in the process of starting our own race here in Elgin. And it's going to be one year from my, my colonoscopy, so August 2nd of this year. And um, so we're very excited about it. So we're, we're doing it to raise awareness, to educate, and, um, and for, you know, to assist with screenings in our communities. Uh, when it is found in younger people, unfortunately it isn't generally found until it's at later stages. And this is one of the few cancers that, if found and detected early, uh, is preventable. And can actually treat it and defeat it. So that's why we want to do this.